What up party people? Today I'm going to show you how to make a spy camera with a keychain cam and a coke stash bottle. So let's get started. Uh, let's set out the keychain camera, coke bottle, and then luckily we have typical household items to use from. We have an X-Acto knife, a soldering iron, Sharpie, some double tape, and a little clear tape. Let's remove the screws to the keychain camera using the Phillips driver. Once you take out the three to four screws on the exterior, just pry it open using your, using your fingers. Again, inside we have a couple screws, three to four on the inside. Once you're done with that, remove it. So you'll have the green board, the camera, and the little lens. At this point, I recommend you double tape the battery down so that way it doesn't get flimsy and you end up having to solder in some wires. Let's move on to the stash bottle. Open the stash bottle and set the lid aside. Now using your X-Acto knife, I'd work it between the Coke bottle and the label itself and just kind of slide it down in. Once you find a little section you could slide the blade down in, work it around and just basically turn the blade towards the inside and don't uh, cut your label. Go ahead and remove the label once you've worked your way all the way around. Let's take that double tape, the clear double tape, and we'll set it up against the, the mouth or the, the eyelid of the camera and let's go ahead and just kind of mark that with the Sharpie. We'll take that double tape and we'll set it to the interior of the stash bottle. Now we have an idea of like where we're going to work with our uh, soldering iron. So take the soldering iron and just like work your way a little slowly. Go ahead and pierce the, pierce the plastic. Just kind of open it up a little bit. Just kind of a good starting point. Then just remove all the other plastic that you've like melted away. Be sure to to be in a room where you have plenty of airflow and or a fan um, so you're not breathing these fumes. Again, I kind of would rather underdo it and like work my way slowly up to the getting the camera to fit versus just going all in and kind of flubbing it and then you're going to have to take another shot at it. So we're almost done here and just kind of again work your way around the little hole Go ahead and cut the ex excess melted uh, plastic. Now that everything fits, let's go ahead and double tape the camera down. Put the lens outside of the bottle, make sure everything fits nice and properly. Let's turn the camera on. Nice, everything works well. At this point, go ahead and find a spot on the label that looks a little busy where I can hide the camera in without any issues. Um, you could do it in like the barcode. I found a little 240 little calorie section appealing. So again, let's take the soldering iron and just barely tap it, little like a little light little kiss to it, and um, go ahead and cut the excess plastic off, and we're all good to go. Put the bottle back together, and there you have it a Coke bottle stash hidden camera. So now that we've made this camera, I'd like to talk to you about like practical applications. Here's how I like using it. Um, first off, you wanna make sure that, you know, you're out in the field, turn your camera on, make sure it's like rolling, you're off and going, you know, you kind of have an idea of like where you're aiming it. And once you're on location or where you want to be, I do my best to kind of chat a little bit with my hands. The tough thing is the video is a little shaky, but then it gets everybody like put to ease. Then I'll set the camera down and that's the killer, right? That's where you're getting clean, clear, steady video of everybody and what's going on. Then no one's focusing on the camera anymore. They're focusing on you. Um, you know, before you bounce, grab the camera, just do your little dip, get out of there. Um, and that's how I ensure that I get the best quality video possible. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, like it, smack it, flip it, rub it down. Thank you. Comments below.